Hey guys, so I finished packing for Africa. I'm going to be going to Africa in just over a week for 11 weeks on board the Africa Mercy. And this is my first time. I wasn't so sure what three months in Africa was going to look like packing wise, but this is what I've come up with. I'm um, bringing this as my carry on backpack. And then I'm checking these two bags. This, I'm going to definitely put some more into this bag. I decided to bring it because I, there was some extra items that couldn't fit and I'm allowed three checked items. So I figured why not just bring, check an extra small little duffel. Both of these bags are super thin. So they're gonna like amount to nothing when I unpack them. Um, and yeah, so. Uh, let's get into the bags. I'm going to show you exactly what I'm bringing. I hope this helps if you're going to Africa and um, uh, if you have any tips or things that you think that I shouldn't be bringing, please let me know. Or maybe, 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 just maybe there's something that I forgot, but <laughs> I'm an overpacker, so probably not, but let me know. Okay, let's get into it. This is the bag that I will be taking as my carry-on to Africa and um, I'm trying not to overly stuff it just because I have back issues and um, I have the ability to check bags. So um, yeah, I'm trying to keep it light. Um, so let's see. So this is a Turkish towel. It's um, light and quick drying, so that's why I bought it for Africa, and I figured it could also be used as a blanket on the airplane if I need it. Um, let's see. So a lot of the things in here are really anything but cosmetics and clothes. Um, so anything to do with like entertainment of any sort. So let's see. I have all of my pens um, for journaling things like that work. Um, I do have some specific pens that I like to write in um, since I will be working there. Um, and I have here um, a, like a notepad to do some hand lettering. I have um, some canvases that I made and some friends had made um, that I can magnetize to the walls of my bunk. I have a blank journal here that I'll be using to document my journey, a devotional, and my Bible. Um, I also have a little um, pocket to protect any um, paperwork that I need to travel with. I have my Kindle, which is the only book that I will be taking just due to space, really. My iPad. I do have my pencil in here as well. Because I do have some washi tape in here. I like to use it for um, Bible journaling and to mark pages and such. I have my portable charger, which I rave about. I don't go anywhere without. It has um, a USB-C, um, lightning, and a regular micro USB. It can charge in the wall. And I brought some cords. So I know that I'll be charging everything pretty much on the converter, um, the European converter in Africa. So this can also be charged this way and it can be plugged into a, um, like uh, the converter I have has a USB hub. So if this, you know, if, if there's not enough room for that, I can also charge this this way. So I thought that was convenient. I'll bring that. And then I have a super long, I have a, a Samsung phone. So I have a super long um, USB-C cord because you don't know where you'll be, your bunk as far as where the outlet is. So, and then I have my regular charger. Um, let's see, I have my passport in here, which will probably go in here. I will have my water bottle um, here. I have like a thermal um, blender bottle. I have some toiletries in here. I have some hand cream. This is um, hyaluronic acid to like moisturize my face. Chapstick, which does have SPF. Um, toothpaste, 
my toothbrush. There's my tongue brush there too, because I use that. Uh, a nail file. These are my earbuds, my wireless Galaxy Buds. And then um, uh, eye mask, because I'll be working night shift and I figured this would come in handy on the plane as well. Medicine on the plane. Excedrin, Benadryl, oh, I have some floss here, um, ibuprofen, this has um, some Pepto tabs that you don't have to chew, they're just swallowable, and uh, some lactate pills are in here as well. And then I brought a bunch of these um, transdermal um, like motion sickness patches, um, but I just brought one um, for the for the plane and because there's a long ride after you get to Africa to the ship so sometimes I get car sick in the back seat so I'm probably just gonna put one on the one on the back of my ear just um, as a preventative and then oh this is this is a uh, melatonin let's see I got some deodorant in here uh, my sunglasses and my reading glasses I think that's it I got some um, carabiners just because you never know when you need one of those. So that's all I'm bringing on the airplane. I'll probably put a change of clothes in here just in case my bag gets lost. So on the airplane, I'll be wearing um, these leggings, tunic shirt, um, this hoodie, and uh, I have a pair of compression socks as well as some regular socks. So this is the bag that I will be bringing to Africa for my cosmetics. So we'll go in to it um, like section by section. So this top section has all the makeup that I'll be bringing. This bag is from Amazon, by the way. Hey guys, I just wanted to let you know anything that I bought recently that I can link below a lot of the stuff was bought from Amazon, Some, a few things bought elsewhere. I will be sure to link below so that you guys can get your hands on them. I got some powder, blush, um, mascara, an eyelash curler, um, a lip color, crayon, a brow gel, and bronzer. In this next pouch, I have bar soap that I love. Got all my anti-malarials, a razor and replacement heads. I got a deodorant, fly tooth comb, and my toothbrush. And then the only face brushes I'll be bringing. In this pouch, I have anything that's liquid to kind of isolate it from everything else. And I know I could be bringing some of this or like buying some of this stuff there. Um, but I have the ability to check bags, so I figured bring more items so I don't have to buy them there. Um, toothpaste, sunscreen, face sunscreen, DEET, um, shampoo and conditioner, jojoba oil, which I use as a moisturizer and kind of as a cleanser, um, and then um, Castile soap, which I can clean my makeup brushes with or even probably use it as laundry soap if I need it for like hand wash items. Um, and as a face wash as well. And last, I have this pocket down here. I got some Q-tips, medications so that I don't have in my carry-on. Um, this is like flu medicine. These are fluconazole. Some more patches for, I had one in my carry-on, but some more patches for motion sickness. And then this is a decongestant. There are some medications that you can get on the on the ship, so I'm not bringing an excessive amount of those. Um, some, actually, I'm not going to bring this. I already have a one in my carry on. A ton of hair ties and necklace, fingernail clippers, mini scissors, and earplugs. Before I show you inside my um, checked bag, I wanted to show you that it does in fact zip up because i'm bringing that other bag i probably won't wear these they're not as comfortable as another pair that i'm bringing and i was just going to wear these because they're bigger and take up more space so the shoes that i plan on bringing are those sneakers these shoes flip flops 
flip-flops, which are Sanooks, and these are super comfortable. And a pair of Tevas. Um, I do have my pillow here. I have back problems, and this pillow <laughs> works really well for me. So I put it inside. A, this is a roll Ziploc bag. You can roll out the air, and it stays compressed really well. So I am bringing that. I'm bringing seven pairs of socks, including two pairs of compression socks, and I'm wearing a pair on the airplane. And then I do have one pair of fuzzy socks in here because it can get cold at night, so I thought that would be nice to have. I have 10 t-shirts and one tank top. I'm not sure if I'll ever wear the tank top, but I figured if I could, it would be nice to have. All right, for pants and skirts, one pair of leggings. I have three pairs of bohemian, um, like lightweight pants, one pair of linen pants, two pairs of capri, um, kind of like active pants. And then these are like pajamas. They're so soft. They're from Kohl's. And these are like thicker, like bohemian style. So in total, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pairs of pants. And I have one dress and three skirts. I've opted not to bring a pair of jeans because I would rather have a pair of, let's say, like these linen pants, which take up more room that are more practical to wear than bring a pair of jeans and wear them twice in three months. So I brought stuff that I definitely can wear and I felt more comfortable with that. I feel like if there's one thing that I'm bringing too many of, it's pants and potentially maybe an extra shirt. But the pants that I'm bringing are, they're so small that I don't think taking out a pair or two would really make all that much of a difference. I might downsize to just one pair of bohemian pants, um, but we'll see. The nice thing about these compression bags are you don't have to compress them. So they're basically two sizes. Um, if you fill them and are basically compressing them, in their uncompressed size, then they're just a larger bag. Um, so I do like that. That's why I do choose to use the compression bags over the, um, what are they called? The packing cubes that don't have the compressing ability. Eagle Creek are definitely my favorite. They're great quality and they're super thin, um, but they're very expensive. So I do use a lot of the Gonex as well. In this bag, I have shirts. Um, so I have one cardigan to wear over things. And that dress is sleeveless, so I would have to wear that over the dress in some occasions. I have this um, tunic style like sweatshirt layering shirt. I have um, a denim button up. I have, this is actually um, like kind of a, a cover up. I'm using it as a cover up for a swimsuit. And I have this very thin button up jacket that will protect me from the sun um, and will just give me a layer. And it's so light um, that I can bring it with me on any kind of day trips and things like that. It will protect me from mosquitoes as well. This is a cube that probably not everybody packs, but I wholeheartedly think that I will be using these clothes. I have three pairs of leggings that go past the knee, three tank tops, two pairs of shorts, and three sports bras.
Everybody I've heard says they wish they brought less stuff. And here I am deciding on stuff and I'm trying to be as minimal as I can, but also don't want to not bring enough clothes. And I feel like everybody says they, you would op, like never not bring enough clothes, but I really feel like I'm not bringing 11 pair of underwear, a laundry bag, I have a pillowcase cover here, and like a, like an allergen pillowcase protector, two pillowcases, a sheet, somebody told me to bring a sheet because it can get cold, I definitely do not have enough room for a blanket, so a sheet will have to do, it's a, it's a twin size sheet. Um, I have my workout stuff. I have a yoga mat that folds. Um, this is like a straight band. I have, um, I don't need this. I probably won't even use this. Um, I have three resistance bands in there. And then I have my booty band. This is an over the door um, organizer. I'm bringing, um, I have these magnetized hooks because the walls are all magnetized. Um, and then I have like these fake push pin magnets. I brought some of these Velcro command hooks. If they didn't take up a lot of room, I don't know if I'll use them. And then I have my badge reel. Oh, I forgot about this couch over here. This is my pajamas. So I have two pairs of shorts, bathing suit, a bikini, which the top is in the wash, two pairs of flannel pants, and two t-shirts. Like, I'm not bringing too much stuff, right? Like, like, I can't just bring one pair of pajama pants, can I? I don't know. They, they say that um, it's really cold in the, like, really cold, it seems like, in the sleeping quarters. So that's why I'm bringing flannel pants. Plus, they're my favorite. So that's everything in my checked bag. The... Only other things are in my purple kind of bonus bag that I'm deciding to check. So as far as I know, the only thing that I haven't brought that, that they have recommended is a Tupperware, which I am going to bring. So I'm not sure if I'm going to bring a hard Tupperware or like a silicone Tupperware, but I need to add that. So I have a soap container so I can put my soap in it. I brought two microfiber cloths so I can use them to wash my face or clean out my blender bottle or whatever and they're quick drying. I got my Spark which is an energy drink. I am going to be bringing a container of my Energize as well probably. I did a little trick here and I put a bag inside of it because there was a lot of airspace and I put Energize packets in there. I got Lady products. Um, I actually have more um, menstrual stuff um, but I set that aside. Um, I got a fanny pack, headlamp, an extension cord um, so that I can bring cords closer to my bed or plug in more. I got this um, European plug that has three outlets and two USBs, uh, my toothbrush charger, two delicate bags, and so that's it. What do you think? If you've been on board at Mercy Ships before, or are even there now, and you think that this is a ridiculous amount of stuff to be bringing, please let me know. I will definitely take into consideration your first-hand experience. Um, but yeah, I just thought it would be fun to have this video, see what I brought, compare to when I come back, and maybe have an opinion about what I should have brought or um, what I will bring differently next but, time. Yeah, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you on board. <laughs>